and only yeah. Wolfgang Puck. And this, if you've watched or you know been watching Wolfgang Puck here at HSN, is really a customer pick and favorite. You brought it back. Yep, I you bought did... it back in a bigger size. We yes. had the small ones many times, but a lot of people said, you know, the small one is really too little because I like to cook my pasta in there. I like to cook my rice in there. I like to cook my ribs in there. Yeah. So many other things. But it's great. It closes hermetically and it simmers along so you don't right. have to worry. So it's a set it and forget it machine. Rick, yeah. I am going to have you go to hsn.com just to see if any of these smaller versions are available. I know one of our, our fans um, was looking for that. But yeah. the great thing about this is, and Wolf, I know you've said it before, you can always make less in a larger vessel. You, exactly. you can never make more in a small one. You are absolutely right. And, you know, I show everybody we start with macaroni and cheese. Right. How do we make them? We start with raw macaroni. Yes. You know, we, and we do. So look I, at it. I yeah. just want to back up. He starts with raw okay. macaroni, with, with, with raw pasta. Yeah, with raw pasta. And Mary and my Now look, look at that, how books. creamy and what? cheesy they are here. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna double. Uh, I'm gonna double check to see if any of Marion's cookbooks are available as well. Okay. So uh, two things. Now look at look at this amazing cheesy macaroni. Holy cow, that makes a lot. Double, with double cheese. And look at it. And now I'm gonna show you how we do it, actually. Right. So you, your choices, we have the red or the black, the red or the black. Then you get the steamer inserts. So you can use that if you're doing hot dog buns on the top and then bratwurst or hot dogs on the bottom. I think they're all warm, but I'm this trying to, there yeah. is, I can't take this out because it's warm, mm, sugar. We well, it's, there's a little, I just want you guys to see this. There's a non-stick insert, non-stick insert. I'm just gonna show you this real quick and I know I'm probably ruining one of the demos. But see this little droplet? That's kind of the brains of the yeah. whole works. So you add your liquid. You're always gonna add some liquid. You put the, you dump the ingredients in. You shut it, and then Mark, can they see the front of this? There's just one, the one, one, one little itty bitty button, and this is yeah. probably my favorite part. So it'll tell you when it's cooking, it'll tell you when it's warming. Now, for most things, it goes by the moisture. There's a little brain in there. You know, if you find that you might something uh, want a little more done, just press it again. I mean, it's, yeah. it's entirely up to or you. Or if you like the macaroni that they form a crust underneath, right. you let it Good cook point. a little bit longer, yep. so you can unmold it, actually. But now let me show you how we do that. Okay, we have the macaroni here. You can see two cups or so. And then you need the same amount of liquid. Like I use some stock. So a one-to-one. One-to-one. One. So I'm gonna use stock and some cream. Again, a one-to-one one ratio, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put that in here. And dry pasta. Dry pasta. I'm gonna add my cheddar cheese, if you like the orange one, the yellow one, whatever it is. Even if you like a little parmesan, add a little parmesan, voila. And don't forget salt and pepper. Right. And then you stir it a little bit. All right, and then you turn the machine on. And, and you, you know away. what is so great? You don't need a timer. The no. machine, when there's no more liquid, will stop. All you have to do is push the button down here. Right. And now you can go to the hairdresser, do your nails, play with the kids, whatever you like. So it's perfect, it will stop by itself. It What's interesting is we have sold the smaller version for pretty close to this price. So, you know, use that information yeah. for what you I will. Know. What, what is the price? It's $29. Wow, Isn't that's that amazing. Crazy? Yeah. So you you are getting, Marion's cookbook is unfortunately sold out, but you are getting a great little instruction manual. Macaroni and cheese is actually one of the recipes that's yeah. included. It's it's pretty, well, it's as goof proof as you get. I mean, even if you burn water, you literally dump the ingredients in and you just put that, push that little lever. The other thing about this is it's great for your side dishes. If you yeah. want to do a sauce, if you want to do a macaroni and cheese. Or if you want to cook ribs, right. like I have ribs in here. Look at that. Isn't I can that nice? take the bones out of my ribs here, nice and hot with barbecue sauce and a little beer maybe. Oh, for sure. Uh, so chili. Look, and, look at that, see that? That looks great, doesn't it? Look at that. Oh man. Oh look, my goodness. I can take the meat off just like that. Not with the towel. 
It, it's funny. We just had like a, a local rib fest here. Yeah. And, and again, I know, I realize they're yeah. standing over those smokers for hours. I know. But you can get great ribs just yeah. by pressing just a little by, button. Just by doing in a button and look yeah. at that. Isn't that wild? So simple, so easy. It is. So, yes, you get a great launching off point. A lot of wonderful recipes, including, I love your bread pudding. The yeah. bread pudding recipes, actually. I know, it's amazing. Included with this. The ribs. But, you know, the other thing is, think outside of the box. It's so funny. We, we hate to call this a rice cooker. I'll just tell you that right now. Because you can do flans. You can yeah. do cakes. You can do cornbreads. You can do chilies. You get the steamer basket, so you're steaming fish. You can also do things that I don't do normally on the stovetop because it takes too much time, like quinoa yeah. or, or steel cut so oats. Exactly. Wild rice is dynamite in this. Yep. And so you can do so many different things. Here we have the ribs in here, you can see. Then here I have the rice. Now, you can make a little rice, like one cup of rice, two cups of rice, or whatever you want, or rice for the whole family, and the next day. Check that out. Yeah, let me get that out here. It's a little hot. Look at that. Oh, wow. Isn't that nice? Yeah. And do you know what? It's actually harder to make fluffier rice on a stovetop than it is in this. You know what? When it I is. was in Austria as an apprentice, to make good rice was such a big problem. I burned more rice and got my butt kicked more oh, often rice. than anybody. <laughs> you know, because I forgot the rice in the oven, whatever it was. Okay, Isn't look that at funny? that. But you are feeding it's an army. It's very hot. Okay, hold that. Now at home, you let it steam a little bit, open it up. So, but you look at that, nothing sticks. There's nope. no oil, no fat in here, nothing. nothing. Hey, by the way, that babe, baby back rib recipe is in this. It's a beer braised baby back rib. They're only like four, you know, ingredients. Yeah. So remember, Miriam's cookbook is sold out, but you get a great launching off pad, of course. I say instruction manual, not that you're gonna need it, because you literally just dump the ingredients in and then just push that little lever. But, you know, again, it's nice to have macaroni and cheese and, yeah. you know, some of the good things that you want to get started with. What do you have over there? Here we have some pork chops. They are not quite done yet, so I'm gonna leave them a few more minutes in here. Mm. No, that that. Sounds good. But they're almost done, so we come back to that in a minute. Absolutely. Like, oh, hey, Jennifer, if you missed the macaroni and cheese, it was a one-to-one -one ratio. So depending on how much you're making, yeah. like, so. One cup, cup of macaroni, one cup of liquid. Generally, I add a little cream and some stock. Yeah, yes. Uh, actually, Selene and Alicia, I've got the same problem in Georgina that we all have. We keep ordering Wolfgang Puck items. But I will say this. When you get I things that really deliver, it is kind of hard to say no to it. Here's another thing. You know, normally when you're talking corned beef or... Yeah kielbasa and sauerkraut, things that, you know, you're standing over the stove with, can heat, you know, smell up the whole house. It's nice to have it contained. Yeah. And you could even take this to a picnic shelter, exactly. wherever there's, an, you know, an or AC a outlet. Dinner. Yeah. This is like a perfect way, or to your cabin, or anywhere in your RV, sure. wherever you go, you can just use that and take it with you, and then you don't need a fire. Look at it, here's our sauerkraut and sausages, wow. For a whole family. That looks fantastic. All right, look how beautiful. And look, nothing sticks in here, perfectly done. What mustard? Nobody's here. Are we here? I don't think that's. Does it come out, you think? I do. So what do you got over there, mister? Here we're making a quiche with no crust. Oh, wow. Let's see if it's cooked enough. Absolutely. Hey, what by the think, way, Marianne? Jamie, hi to you as well. Tom says his kitchen's name should be Wolfgang Puck. That's very, very <laughs> Thank you, thank uh, you. It, it, it's just, it's fun to have all of you on Facebook. Don't forget, Wolfgang's last look at his today's yeah. specials coming up in just a few minutes. Look at that. Oh, that looks great, Wolf. Oh, wow, isn't that neat? Like a quiche, you know? Yeah. But no crust. Oh, uh, dumped no it out kidding. a little fast, but look at that. Oh, so that's easy, cool. simple, and perfectly done. And remember, if you want like a little more of a crispy crust, all you yeah. do is you hit that lever again. You know, yeah. like a, you know, and it's 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 a set it and forget it machine. Remember, you choose the black or the red, and we brought this back by customer request. Yep. So remember, you can always make less in a larger machine. You can never make you know more in a little machine. Exactly. Oh, Marion, how are you, are you going to poach like eggs? Or what are you doing? So poached eggs right above the oatmeal. So oh yeah. no! Really kidding. great breakfast. Yeah. Oh wow! Isn't that a good idea? 
idea. Oh, I like that. So you just, you know, put them in there with the little ramekins. Uh -huh. do, you, do you add like a little water and vinegar and, and the ramekins? These just... didn't, we didn't, but you certainly can. Oh, no yeah. kidding. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 you poach it. It's like uh, from Cocotte, we call them, with a oh. little butter or a little uh, fat, fat in there, a little uh, spray. And that's it. And you can eat them right out of there. You nice. can add some smoked salmon in it, some bacon in it, sausages in it. Beautiful. Whatever you like. What do you have over here, Marianne? This is the meatballs, the Asian meatballs with the oh, sticky sauce. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Yeah. Like Ooh, sweet, you're going to take sauce. some out? Sure. Okay. Maybe I can put some rice down. Okay, you want some rice? Oh, let's do it. Hey, we see you there. I know we're saying uh, two minutes and then we're gonna have to move along. Okay. It will be your last look at our finest value of the day. This is one of those, you know, uh, uh, mom deserves it machines. I know with Mother's Day, sometimes we don't think, don't get mom a, an appliance, but it really sets you free in the kitchen because not only is it great if you've got latchkey kids, this is something you don't have to worry about an ex exposed burner. Your kids will cook with this. I mean, they yeah. really will because you can dump the ingredients in, they push one little button and you walk away it shuts itself off which is genius it's the largest capacity for the price that we've ever offered here at hsn even if you just use it as a buffet warmer for things like your meatballs right you certainly could do that but we are going to head to the phones leah is calling in california hi leah, leah in california hello. hi shannon hi will see hi everybody uh, hi, hi. Hello. you're hello. awake in california we are excellent almost as good as you and I have to tell you, Wolf, I spent my 60th birthday at your restaurant in Beverly Hills. It was absolutely oh. fabulous. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for calling. Yeah. This is one of my favorite appliances that you do. Yeah. And I do a salsa thighs in there. And my husband said it's the best thing he ever has. So yeah. oh. at least once a week we do thighs with salsa. And I mean, they come out so perfect. Nice. All right. So next time you bring me some to our restaurant over there, I spend a lot of time. Obviously, I live in Los Angeles, so you bring me a little bit of your uh, things, what you make. Why not? I will, for sure. I have everything dating back to when you even had the um, ice cream maker. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. So my kitchen is full of Wolfgang Puck, and I'm, it's an honor to talk to you, and thanks for bringing this back. We love it. Thank oh, you, Leah. Leah. We love so you. sweet of you to talk, and happy belated birthday. Yes, thank you, Leah. Take good care. And, thank you. You know, I love that because those of us, if you've tried Wolfgang Puck appliances or Wolfgang Puck cookware, or of course, it's today's special, you really do stick with the things that work, and that's why we build our Wolfgang Puck kitchens. You so know, it makes I sense. would not be here, and you can see we have customers from the restaurant, customers who buy our it's thing true. here, so everybody is intertwined. It's like a synergy. If you get a good meal, you're going to see me on television and say, okay, I'm going to try because we have to cook it's at true. home. Even I would love everybody go to the restaurant, but it's not realistic. I think people love to cook at home and it's a lot of fun to cook at home too, as long as you have the right appliances, pots and pans or whatever you need to do a good job. And our special of today it's really the most amazing thing because we know we hate the chopping, we hate the grating, we hate all that stuff because it takes too long. We but love the cooking part. So yeah. now with my new blender, with my new, uh, what do you call it? The, the, the seven in one. The seven in one, yeah. The today's I special. I saw it too often, so I forgot the name of it already. <laughs> well, yeah, you're doing great. And remember that last look is coming up. Hey, Rick, uh, 